Hi everyone, so I'm going to perform an iteration of a simplex. So this is still on that 2022 page for question 7, uh, but a little bit later on in it. So it says after, so it, it showed the second iteration, you had to read the values of it. So it said after the third iteration, you get the right answer, do the third iteration. But it says state the rule operations you should use and make your network clear. So that method of working clear is your ratios on your plan. So I'm going to call this row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, and row 5. I'm going to say, right, so what we're going to look at then. So does it tell us where to use? That's the, that's the big question. Will it tell us which column to use? No, we can't. So I've got to think, what's going to give us a negative value? K is positive, so the only, well, the smallest positive value you've got, well, well potentially negative value you get is that one, isn't it? So nothing else will give you that. So I have to use that column to do my pivot on. So I'm going to do the ratio test based on that. So I've got 1 divided by a fifth, which is 5. I've got... 2 divided by minus 2 fifths, so don't bother. Uh, I've got 22 divided by 12 over 5, which is going to give uh, 55 over 6, which is like 9.2. Then I've got theta is, where am I? 5 divided by a fifth, so that's going to be 25, and that'll be my head. We don't bother about the P line doing because I'm ratio jumping, I'm jumping from vertex to vertex on my picture to then solve it. So my smallest positive value, if you can read where I'm going from, is the 5 on the ratio test. So that's going to become my pivot. So remember, you want to be able to solve the equation. So this, this column is going to become 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's what I want out of life. I want that column to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then I can read off a value for S4. Right, so I need to think about my row manipulation now. So if I call that row 6, row 7, row 8, row 9, and row 10, I'm them a little bit below. I'll do the row operations because then you can use your calculator to do it, couldn't you? So the first one, it's a fifth, I need to make it into one. So it's going to be row 1 times by 5. If you do that, that creates a 0, 0, 5, minus 3, 0, 1, and 5. So that's quite nice. The basic variable, because I've changed the S4, because I've changed that one, that changes that basic variable into S4. And like I said before, I've got absolutely no idea where they come from, because on AQA when I used to do this, didn't I? So I've got that there. Right, so I've got minus two fifths, so I need to add on multiples or take away multiples of the pivot, and this is my pivot here. Yeah. Right, so what have we got? So row seven is going to be row two plus two fifths of row six. Uh, I've got a 12 over five, so what I'm going to do is I'll, set, so I'll just sell these now. So then I've got a 12 over 5 on row 3 that I want to make into a 0, so that's row 3 minus 12 over 5, and that's on the pivot row. And then row 4 is a fifth, so I need to take away a fifth of row 6, the pivot row. But look at this, I've got that there, I want to make that into 0, so I need to take that away. So it'll be row 5, I'll put it down here so you can see it minus 2 over 5, so it's a minus 2 over 5 there, isn't it? Let me write that kind of one. Hang on. So I'm taking away that bracket, so it's minus, a minus 2 over 5, plus 1 fifth k, lots of the pivot there. Now these basic variables are all staying the same, because I changed it from a pivot, which I've already done. And if I cheat slightly and just use the 
use the pump, but you could use a calculator. So I can do one knot, 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 one knot. But be careful with this last one now. So five, two, minus 12, minus one, two minus k. The minus three, we've got minus one, five, one, k minus one. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero. There are zeros there. We've got four, a ten, a four, and a four k plus four. So if I choose one at random, oops, so I chose this five here, it's come from this one here, I think, yeah, the minus 11 over 5, and then it's take away 12 over 5, lots of what's in the pivot, uh, which is the minus 3. There. And hopefully that will work, so it'll be like a, a minus 11 plus 36, so plus 30, that can't work actually. I don't know what I'm going to do, minus 11 over 5. I'm going to pause it, I'm going to do a check mark. It's not working properly, is it? Yeah, you donkey, I can't add up. It's minus 11 plus 36, so it's plus 25 over 5, which is 5. Here you go, donkey. I did minus, I think it's in my head has been 35 over 5, and really it's 25 over 5. So that's kind of like the, the first iteration. So I've done my row, I've done all my, my ratio test. So you identify my pivot, I've circled it on there, and I've changed, I've done all the row operations to do it. You can use your calculator to do the row operations, but I hope that's okay. Does it ask for anything else on this? You can read the values off the panel if you wanted to. So you could read off the x, because it's just a one with zeros. The x is four. Y is 4, because S1 is just a mash of numbers, that's 0, S2 is 0, S3 is 10, S4 is 5, and that gives me a p-value of 4k plus 4. There you go. That's probably enough, isn't it, for that first iteration, or any iteration.